morning. It's like two in the afternoon, but today we're going to Japan. I'm getting ready and I'm doing my makeup right now. I'm in a new background, as you can see. I'm at my aunt's house um, and it's a beautiful, beautiful apartment. Anyways, I've been doing my makeup. Yeah, I'm so excited to go to Japan. We're going to Hukuoka, which is like, it'll be my first time there. I've been to like every other part of Japan, so it's really exciting to go somewhere new for the first time in like, I don't know. I honestly have no idea how this vlog is going to turn out because, not going to lie, I have zero storage on my phone and I don't have my laptop to export any of the footage, so... My hands become so messy when I do my makeup because I use my fingers and not the brushes. My forehead looks ginormous, I'm so sorry. My cherrybomb.com is in my other bag, so... My lip is gonna look a little bit different. Okay, this is the final look. I just unrolled my hair. And it came out right. They're kind of uneven, but it's okay. My outfit, it's super basic. I just got these new pants. Um, If you see my other vlog, I got them at Zara. And then I forgot to bring my like cropped white tank. So I just have this like, tank top underneath. And yeah. That's my airport fit. We're headed to the airport now. It's super hot, like I feel like I'm sweating already. But yeah. At the airport, our flight got delayed only like about 30 minutes. I have no idea why because it's not raining. So it's not due to weather issues, but yeah, we're about to get on board. It's about 5.20 and we'll get boarded, I think in about 20 minutes. The airplane is a Pokemon. Oh my god, this is like the best. We're waiting for the bus now and we just went to the 7-Eleven real quick and I got an onigiri. Oh, it's like so crazy being here because I haven't been in Japan since like before COVID. So everything like I'm seeing is like... I don't know, I'm just so happy to be here and like just even listening to like people speak Japanese like it's so crazy Taking a bus straight to downtown and yeah, I think the first thing we're gonna eat is ramen because that's kind of what we wanted to eat the most My aunt is like, she speaks fluent Japanese, she's lived in like Japan for 20 plus years So she's basically a native and she knows like all the hotspots So apparently there's a really really famous ramen place, so we're gonna go check it out and we're gonna eat there. But I'm so excited, I'm so hungry, and I just wanna eat everything. I literally wanted to buy all the snacks at the 7-Eleven, but I know like I should just wait later to go to a bigger mart and buy everything there, but I'm just so excited, guys. I don't even know.
We just left our stuff in our hotel and it's so pretty here. Um, I'm not sure what we're gonna eat yet. Probably between ramen or sushi, but I'm not sure. I just wanna eat everything, guys. I don't know. Oh my god, it's Coco's curry. And then right next to Coco's is Ichiran. Wait for Ichiran is 30 minutes. So we're just gonna eat sushi. That is too much of a wait. We've already waited like hours. It's so cute. The Studio Ghibli character plushies and they're so tiny. We got shrimp, salmon, this is octopus, and then more salmon. This is my first time having this natto sushi. <laughs> That was traumatic. No offense to anyone who enjoys natto, but I could not. I'm having salmon. Yeah. Let's see what I got. No idea what this is, but this is what I got. This is green tea, and this place's green tea is so good. This, this restaurant is a popular chain in Japan, and the green tea is so good. And you just put however much you want. We just finished eating and now we're at Donkyote. Donkyote is my favorite favorite place to shop in Japan and I've missed it so much like they literally have everything. Today I'm not gonna buy anything because we're gonna do most of our shopping tomorrow but I'm just gonna pick out everything that I want. So a little bit of window shopping. These are like blowing up right now. It's a hair oil and apparently it's super super good so I'm gonna get like a few of them before I leave. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally, it does not stop. This, this is alcohol. I. Literally, want to buy everything, but I'm so full. I can't eat any of this stuff, even if I want to. But if you guys ever come to Japan, you guys really need to try their pudding. It's so good. And also, um, I don't know what it's called in English. Oh, a cream puff, like a little cream puff ball. It's really, really good here. Oh my God, everything is so effing cute. Oh my God, I want everything. See, I used to love these when I was little. These are tiny bath bombs and inside are like collectible toys. This is literally giving me so much nostalgia. I used to eat this so much as a kid. It oh. Oh. So I got this cute. Oh my Oh my god, they have so many different types of Vivian Westwood jewelry and I might have to- Oh my gosh, I've never seen that. It's a yin yang. They're so cute. I might have to get something. They're so pretty. I want- Oh my god. I literally had this exact one but smaller in a keychain form in middle school and someone stole it from my backpack. We're at Lawson now, which is a different type of convenience store. There's a ice cream that I'm looking for and it's like, they're grapes and hopefully they have it because I've been craving them. Oh my god, I don't think I have them. This is what? melon poktan? But the melon poktan is not in the This is what? They don't have it, so we're gonna try another Lawson that's like right next to our hotel. They have it, but they also have this is mango and this is Asian pear. Ooh, I've never had other flavors before. Mango harka. Oh 
on peut brûler. We got mango and grape. My aunt's gonna have the grape. I mean the mango. I'm gonna have the grape. I literally love these. They're so good. They're so good. They're exactly as I remembered them to be. Yeah, I have here crystal candies. And I've seen these like all over TikTok for years. And I know people on TikTok sell these for like ridiculous prices. So I'm pretty sure these originated in Japan. So these were super, super cheap, but I'm really excited to try them. But I heard they actually taste like soap. So I don't know. Okay. They always have looked so satisfying to eat. Okay. They don't taste like soap, but they do not taste good. They don't really taste of anything. Okay, that was really disappointing. I'm getting ready to take a bath. And something really cool about this hotel is that downstairs, they had like different kinds of bath salt. And you can just take however much you want. Good morning, we're at Lawson, I mean Family Mart. It's Friday, I think it's like 10.30, maybe 11, but it's so hot, we're out now. I'm wearing the same shirt as yesterday because I literally only bought this shirt because I knew that I was just gonna buy clothes here. Uh, so yeah, today I'm just gonna buy clothes and do shopping and yeah. to go to a different place that's like pretty famous here but the wait was over 30 minutes we had to wait outside and it's so so incredibly hot outside we just came to this place where it's practically empty um i think anywhere you go the ramen's gonna be fine like it's gonna taste good anyways so might as well just go to a place that isn't crowded and you don't have to wait so long for and then after we're gonna go do more shopping and yeah it's a good day other than the weather being incredibly hot this is shoyu ramen, and this is fried rice, and this is gyoza. We're getting cream puffs. This, this is a cream puffs like franchise that we always get when we're in Japan, and it's so good. It smells so good already. Papa. This is a custard cream puff. It's so good. We were just talking about how I have never come to Japan during the summer and I've always come during winter or spring break. My aunt was telling me like there's a reason why she never brought me in the summer and it's because it's so hot and humid in Japan. It's so true, like the weather is so hot but, but I mean, what can you do? Zaifu Shrine and it's so so pretty here. Mithy! Mithy is like one of my favorite characters. Kawaii.
really, really hot. Um, but it's so peaceful and really pretty here. Everything is really beautiful. One of the things I love doing most when I come to Japan is going to temples and shrines like this. And I don't know, it's just like such a peaceful and spiritual experience whenever you come. Simple roads like this that make me love Japan so much. It's so beautiful. We're taking a city bus tour. It's an open roof tour of the city, but it's really hot.